Only in Sri Lanka, my friends, will you find a tractor in a safari park. Whoa. Oh my god, this is the biggest elephant I've seen. Oh my god, he's so big. Look how big that elephant is. Gentlemen, welcome, good morning, and welcome to Udawalawe. I am reunited with my boy. You guys complained in the comments that we haven't traveled together around Sri Lanka much. You guys didn't see how much we did, but we're back together. We're back here, baby. We're united. We have started the morning here in this amazing place called Kalus Hideaway. It is owned and operated by Romesh Kaluvitarana. Anyways, we have so much to show you guys on this place. It's so amazing. But today we're in Udawalawe and we're gonna go on a bunch of adventures because this is my favorite place in all of Sri Lanka. But before we do anything else, you know what we have to do, right, Steve? Let's Roll go. the intro. This video would not have been possible without the amazing people behind tuktukrental.com. I rented my own tuktuk -tuk and drove it around the country of Sri Lanka and that allowed me to come here to Udawalawe National Park on my own means. Alright, so we have just made it to the road that cuts across the Udawalawe Reservoir. This is probably my favorite spot in the entirety of this country because it literally feels like you are driving past the gates to Jurassic Park. It's just amazing. But our mission for today, before going on safari, we've actually gotten the information of a certain Sri Lankan elephant that has tusks, also known as a tusker. His name is Bullet, and apparently he hangs out by the electric fences just on the other side of this reservoir. So Steve and I are going to go out and see if we can find him. There's always elephants that stand on these sides of the electric fences because they get fed. But we're going to see if we can find Bullet today. And he should be a sight worth seeing because he's got these massive tusks. So that's what we're searching for on the reservoir today in Udawalawe. <laughs> it's my third time experiencing this, but it never gets old, ladies and gentlemen. We have just met up with what is referred to as the Udawalawe Elephant Electric fence gang. They're a group of elephants that has been really habituated to human contact because of this fruit stand that's right here. Tourists such as these will buy fruits and then feed these elephants on the side of the road. So neither one of these elephants is the one that we're looking for. We're looking for one with tusks, a big male, but check this out. You can get extremely close to these elephants. Here we go, we got another one coming. Now this is not something I ever recommend doing. This is a situation that I, I've been here three times and it's like this every single time. The elephants will come right up to you, but it's, uh, it's a pretty horrible situation because <laughs> they are just super used to people just feeding them fruits and stuff and they'll just hang around here on the fences for hours on it but they are so beautiful hey Steve what do you think about these elephants it's so crazy being so close to this elephant because we shouldn't be this close nope. like as humans and wild elephants we should not be able to interact with them this close it's crazy it's a crazy feeling we just got word of another elephant for one of the friendly bystanders here 10 minutes down the road we're gonna bust down Thatiana and see if we can find it. You ready? <laughs> Give me a little twerk, quick. Let's hit it. Elephant twerk. Boo, 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 boo. Transition into an elephant. Oh, it's just an elephant. <laughs> we found ourselves another elephant, ladies and gentlemen. Another two elephants, actually. We found this guy, a little youngster, right here on the side of the road. He's hanging out, he's got tiny little tusks. Oh, he's running away. Whoa, whoa, where are you going, sir? All right. We have now come across another elephant. Totaling this up to five elephants. Five elephants we've seen just on this road right now. This is bananas. And not just because people are feeding them bananas. Hello, Pefalent. Hey, Steve, what are we about to do? <laughs> we're about to get some yum-yums in these tum-tums. Show the people what we got. Under plate number one, we have Ooh. pumpkin. Ooh. Under dish number two, we have this thing. Wow. Don't know what that's called. <laughs> Hurry up, run. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we drop it. <laughs> All right, I work here now. I'll be serving you today. Oh, okay. What would you like? Can I work here? I serve. Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What kind of curry would you like, sir? I would like some... I'll take some red rice, please. Some red rice for the boy he wants. Yes, please. Red a little rice. bit more. A little more? Yeah. On day, on day, on day, on day. I'll take some dal. Some dal? Dal. That? That's perfect. Good Not... portions? Yeah, in an awkward middle spot, but that's perfect. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> What's this? What is this? No, you tell me. You work oh, here. This is what we call a grambule. Grambule? Yeah, grambule. It's a classic Sri Lankan food. We'll put it right there in the middle. You like some of this? Yeah. Don't forget. Here we go. Ooh, look at that pumpkin. Boy. Happy Halloween. Really making this as awkward as we can. Namme? Namme. 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 Nam
Oh, Look at the man. Now. This is what you call Mugaro, okay? <laughs> and Name? Lanka. Lanka? Yeah. Nama? Lanka. Dambula. Dambula? <laughs> Name? Here, Katia. Pudurangula? Uduwalo? Sigaria? Habanera? Sir, would you like Fim or Chim? I would like some Chims. <laughs> chims, dude. Can you please pop it on my. Perfect. That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, it's cute. Pop. How's that? It's wonderful. Okay, thank you for shopping with us. I'll take oh, that. Okay. Leave her alone. <laughs> so imagine how many regulations there are in the U.S. for everything we just did. We just probably broke so many laws in so many countries. But here, she's just happy to let us do whatever. Yeah, we've kind of established the major rule of Sri Lanka. is that nothing matters and you can just do whatever you want in a good way. You know, don't be mean. Do things positively. But like this, anyone will let you just come in and do fun things. <laughs> <laughs> Another Sri Lankan lunch finished. That was delicious. Now it's time to head back to the hotel and go on safari. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ladies. you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to go on safari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can smell it in the air, exactly. So we're about to hop in our personal safari truck that Kalas Hideaway has right here. You can see it's their personalized safari truck. We're gonna hop in, we're gonna Uduwalaway National Park, close to where we just were. Whoa, a monitor lizard, That's we're already on safari. Look at that, this monitor lizard just running around right there. Oh, he's climbing a tree. I've never seen one climb a tree before. Look at that. Oh, it's like we're on safari already. Holy crap, this is cool. Whoa, my goodness. Okay, a little pre-safari before the real safari. Steve and I are decked out with our proper camera gear. First safari, we're ready to go find the animals. Let's hit it. Hey Steve, what do you want to see today on Safari? I'm gonna see some elk pants. I was gonna see some elk trips. Elephants. Maybe we see them jaguars. What kind of bears you want to see? I want to see the, the yummy bears, the gummy bears. Gummy bears? <laughs> I want to see one of them honeysuckle bears. Hey officer, what do you want to see on Safari today? All right. Welcome, my friends, to Udawalaway National Park. Yeah. This is one of the best national parks in all of Sri Lanka, in my opinion. And it's where you can see just a lot of elephants. Steve and I actually came here during the Tuk Tuk tournament. Yeah. Got this crazy footage of an elephant fighting a dog. Yeah. This is insane. But uh, we're on the search for some herds today. We're going to see what we can find. But we're just entering the thick of the bush right now. And it's super exciting. The adventure has begun. Alright, first elephant sighting back there somewhere. You could just see him moving around a second ago, but I think he's gone now. Oh, there he is. Male elephant. Tusker? No tusk. Wow. So we have Mr. Ranger Man back there as well. He'd be helping us look for animals. Usually when you have an official sitting in the safari truck, they're a lot more well informed than Steve and I, for example, on what kind of animals live here and where they hang out. And also usually spotting them. They're a lot better at finding the animals themselves. So we're gonna try to sit back and relax, help a little bit with looking, but uh, mostly let him take care and try to find us as many elephants and animals as possible. Of course, we got some of the endemic Sri Lankan water buffalo. A little fact for you guys about the water buffalo in this country. Most of them, or any of the wild, feral buffalo, have been pretty much bred out of extinction. Uh, bred to extinction, and so now any sort of buffalo you see usually has a strand of domestic genes in it. So none of them are ever truly wild anymore, but they still look really, really, really beautiful. Look at all these elephants. Wow, elephants. They're so beautiful. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants. Count all the elephants. Then we got four There's elephants, right there, five elephants, elephant. six elephants. Hey, Steve, so how many elephants do you see? All the elephants. Oh, man, let's give them some voices and personality traits. This one over here. Yeah. His name is Harold the elephant. Harold. Hello, Harold. And no one really likes Harold that much, but they kind of tolerate him. <laughs> There's another elephant just popped out. Oh, look at that. That is Kumar right there. Oh, Kumar. oh man, that's a dynamic duo. <laughs> and then over here we got Little Reginald. And we call him Little Reginald because he has got the smallest penis of all the elephants. It's not fully grown yet. Just wait. <laughs> Give him a couple years. He'll catch up. <laughs> He'll catch up to the rest of the elephants. And the truck behind us is called the Really Loud Truck. <laughs> that is ruining this part of the video. <laughs> man, look at that elephant. Wow, what a beautiful creature. So warm and fuzzy and full of life. We're in a herd of elephants right now, probably eight or nine strong. They're just everywhere. Hopefully we'll be able to spot one with tusks. Something so special about just being here in the nature, 
looking at these little ear flapping floopies. They're so cute. It's about to go down. We got safari style peacock in this corner, monitor lizard in this corner. What's gonna happen? Oh, Steve, who's your bet on? The monitor lizard? Uh huh. I am kind of hoping to see him just bite the peacock in one whole swallow. <laughs> it looks like in the meantime, while I've asked Steve who he thinks is gonna win, the peacock has actually left the ring. <laughs> so we monitor the wizard just one bite. Default. And I just realized I called him the monitor wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, bud. We found a pack of gray langurs. These are one of the monkeys endemic to Sri Lanka, and they, in my opinion, are the coolest monkeys. Oh, look at them. Hey, what's, what do you think these guys are looking at? Oh, feels so good. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, just checking. I want to make sure nobody's looking at us. Hey, do I still got some fleas on my head? Hey, just give me a second, man. I'm just taking, making sure. Come on, I'm paying you good money for this. No, nah, it's all right. Oh, man. Joey, where are you going, Joey? Oh, well, you're not even done. Oh, Come Joey. Oh, you just ruined the moment, Joey. You got up. Oh, you got a new friend. Oh, what's up? Hey, hey my name's Colonel. I'll see you guys later. So here we have a male gray linger, and you can tell he's a male because that little piece pink of flesh <laughs> that is hanging right there approximately 12 o'clock. Right here. Stop. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, just oh. Poop. Two of them? Jungle cats. You see them still? Uh, yeah, they're right there. Wow, I've never seen a jungle cat before. That was actually exciting. I don't know if I got that on video, but... Ready? Wow, I'm very... There cool. it is, I see it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that was a cat. So we just saw two jungle cats. Yeah, like real cats in the jungle. They were, like, fairly big. I would not want to come across one of those. Yeah, that looks like you could do some damage. Yeah. Maybe half the size of a leopard? Still very, very cool. This right here, my friends, is why Udawalawe is my favorite place in Sri Lanka. You get the beautiful lakes, you got waterfalls in the background, you have the mountains of Ella, and the world's end of Horton Plains, and just so much nature, so many animals. I mean, the water, and I'm currently sticking my feet in, have crocodiles in them, and it's just, feels incredible being out here. So much pristine, delicious nature to explore. We just spotted a golden jackal on the road. Look at that. We got a golden jackal. There it is. Oh, it's coming. Golden jackal. Wow, Look golden jackal. jackal. Come here, Mr. Jackal boy. All right, lucky for us, we have heard the sounds of more elephants just across over there. So we're on the search now for more alias. Let's see if we can find them. Oh my okay. god, that's a crocodile. Whoa, we found a crocodile. A small crocodile, but it's a crocodile. This is only the second crocodile I've seen in Sri Lanka. Nice eye. Good job, Macha. Nundai. Studi. That is a Sri Lankan croc. So we just spotted a jackal. He's scooting his little boot over on the ground. <laughs> oh, he's limping. But over here, some more elephants. We just saw a crocodile, jackal, and elephants all in one go. Amazing. Only in Sri Lanka, my friends, will you find a tractor in a safari park. We found a really, really massive male. Still no tusks, unfortunately, but a really big male elephant. He is healthy. Wow, this one is beautiful. Oh, we got an elephant encounter going on right now. Here he comes. Oh my Here he comes. So Here close. he comes. Hello. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Oh my god, this is the biggest elephant I've seen. Look how big that elephant is. It's crazy. How close was that? This is insane. It came right up to us. This is amazing. Beautiful sunset with a beautiful, absolutely massive male elephant. All right, with only 10 minutes left of this park being open, 6 p.m., doors shut for all national parks across Sri Lanka. We are busting our way through and out of Udawalawe National Park. That was such an awesome ending to the day. That was amazing. We got so close to the biggest, I think that was the biggest elephant I've seen here so far. How was that safari? Great safari, Udawalawe. It's like you're guaranteed to see so many elephants. And elephants are just so beautiful creatures. It's amazing, I love this place. All right, we are gonna make our way exiting out of the park right now and back to Kalas Hideaway. So Kalu's Hideaway is an incredible place here in Udawalawe and we've had the honor of staying here for the last two days and it's just been an incredible experience. Everything from the design to the feeling of the place and the staff of course which make it just amazing. Steve, what did you feel about this day? How did you feel about it? Like Tal said, the staff here make this day so special. Everyone is super friendly, very nice and the nature around this place, the landscapes around here, we're just in the wild. It's beautiful. 
I love it. And of course, being able to hang out with Ramesh, he's a you know cultural icon here in Sri Lanka, which is super, super cool. He's the owner of this establishment, and I thought you maybe could tell us a little bit to the viewers why you started this place, what's so special about Carlos Hideaway. Just give us a little briefing. I started uh, very small as, as uh, a holiday home. And then from there, then I thought uh, National Park and looking at the whole Udwala way, I thought I could do a little more. So then I thought of having a small hotel and started very small. Uh, now I have 14 rooms, so I'm very happy what, uh, what's going on. And we have been here for the last two days exploring the property and hanging out with Romesh, and it's just been a fantastic area. This place is amazing, and he's built something really incredible over here. We're very grateful for this experience, so thank you so much to the staff and to the whole team behind Kalos Hideaway. We are now going to continue our adventure as we head down south in Sri Lanka. So that's the end of another video for you guys. I hope that you check out Kalos Hideaway down below in the description. Your word of the day today in Singhala is going to be Satvaya, which means animal. Because there were a lot of animals in this beautiful adventure today. Also, obviously, I want to give a shout out to TukTukRental.com for allowing me to drive my own personal tuk-tuk all the way out here to Udawalawe. I would not have made it all the way here if it wasn't for the amazing tuk-tuk that I was able to drive across the country to make it here. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video for you guys today. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Slap them out, Sherry. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just checking out right now. I want to show you guys, first of all, the attention to detail for every guest. Look at this. <laughs> for every guest. I think for every single guest. <laughs> Darshana, he's the one who checked me in here originally. He's kind of been like our point of contact in the hotel, which is amazing. He's been here able and ready for any need that we need. In Sri Lanka, there's a little bit of a culture difference when you're giving high fives or saying hello. So I wanted to show him how we kind of give a high five in the United States of America. You know, initially, if you're gonna come and shake someone's hand, you might just go like this, yes. right? But this is how we do it in the US, okay? Yeah. You can come at me like this, yeah. and then we'll, or you're gonna be like, noise. <laughs> noise. Nice. You gotta hit me with noise. And don't, don't be afraid to hold it in, you know, until it gets a little <laughs> awkward. You gotta feel the warmth, you know? Noise. Nice. Now hit, hit him with the camera, hit him with noise. Nice. Noise, noise. <laughs> Say noise. Nice. <laughs> Time. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me mm. get that dribble. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>